So I want to show you how to set up your files for Project 1. And I'm going to use Krista's files from a previous class. She did a really great job on the project, uh, but she lost points when she handed in her files. This is a pretty messy folder of uh, way too many files, and some of them are not named properly. So I'm going to set up a folder, um, pretend like these are my files, an Xboro folder. It has nothing in it right now. And I'm going to take a look at her files and prepare them for submission, the way that I would like you to prepare your files for submission. You can see she has, uh, she's done a really great job with her dynamic um, composition. She's used a ton of rectangles, maybe more rectangles than she needed to set this up. Um, and then she also has a static composition that she did really well. She paid attention to shading and values. Um, and she, has, she had a really great eye for seeing this material. But I wanted her, and I want you, to submit your files two up on a single page. This will sort of reduce the amount of files in the folder and make it a little bit easier for us to take a look at uh, your work when comparing the two static and dynamic compositions side by side. So I'm going to take her first, uh, it doesn't matter which one, but I'll take the dynamic um, composition. And you can see she has set it up at 8.5 by 11 inches. Um, Command R on a Mac or Control R on a PC will turn your rulers on and off. So you can double check if you if you want to by turning your rulers on. And if your rulers show up in pixels, by the way, or some other measurement, you can hold the Control key on a Mac and click right on the ruler itself and choose a unit of measurement. So I'm showing you in inches that she's got her both files are set up. I'm going to turn rulers on here and we can see, uh, and here's a great example of that. Um, that she's she's in the the proper file size or format size here, uh, but what we need to do is get both of these into one um, compositional space. So I'm going to select everything in this file, and I'm going to just take a peek inside her layers to see. Okay, nothing was locked. Sometimes uh, while you're working, you might lock layers down. Of course, if I go and try to select a layer that's locked, it won't select. So um, using my selection tool, I'm going to drag over everything. And I'm going to press Edit Copy or Command C on my Mac. So I'll do Command C. And then I'm going to come over here to the dynamic page. I'll select everything here, and I'm just going to hold the Shift key as I scale this composition down. So I'm just sort of guessing right now about the space, but it'll be something like this. Now, once I've scaled this down, I'm going to press Command V, like vector, for paste. And while that's all selected, I'll hold the Shift key again and scale this down. The Shift key enables me to scale proportionally. So while I'm reducing the size of my composition, I'm not stretching it or skewing it. Um, scaling is different than stretching or skewing, right? So we want to con constrain the proportions. And I want to just sort of center this. And I can see as I, as I drag, um, I've got my Smart Guides turned on so I can see that the, the pieces are um, kind of centered within the page. Um, something like this is fine. I might take this one with my arrow key and just nudge it up a little bit closer here. Okay, now I'm going to save this file, File Save As, and I'm going to have, this would be my master file, my native file. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my desktop in my folder as, um, there we go. I'm going to pretend like these are my files. So this is my native file. I'll press OK through this. And then I'm also going to save my PDF. So I've saved it once as my native format Illustrator file. I'm going to do File Save As one more time. And I'm going to choose Adobe PDF. Same name, same place. Go ahead and save that. I'm going to just save this. Now, don't worry about all those little boxes for right now. We'll get to those later. Now I'm going to Command Tab back to my Finder. And I'll take a look. Oops, I'll take a look on my desktop in my folder. I've got two files and I need two more. I needed her uh, original images. Now she didn't quite name those. Her, she had anti-beer campaign and uh, which was this and she had a uh, sky vodka campaign. Um, so this sky should actually be called dynamic.jpg and the beer campaign should be called static.jpg. Now these files are ready to go. I can select the files with a shift click like this, or I can select the whole folder. It really doesn't matter. Either way is fine. And I'm going to hold on my Mac Control, click, and compress Xboro. That's going to make Xboro.zip, and that's the file that you will submit for Project 1.